Hey everybody, it's John C. Morley, serial entrepreneur. And today is Science Fridays with John and how to network. Today we have another great experiment. You know, there are so many different types of food and there's a lot of experiments that you can do with food and we're gonna be doing a lot of them. The good thing about food experiments is they're safe, you can do them indoors, and they're relatively inexpensive to do. All right, so who doesn't like Skittles? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, open our pack here of Skittles. We have some water. We have a little um, plastic ramekin or little dish. And then we have a little low uh, plate. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of water and just put that into my cup. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my Skittles, and this is something that is gonna take me a little bit of time. I'm gonna put different Skittles next to each other. So now that we have these Skittles set up on a plate, we have a little bit of water. We're gonna pour the water. And you can already start to see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you can see what's happening. Normally when you'd put all this together, you'd think it would be a great big mess, but it's not. So when you have people working in harmony, when you have a team and the team works together, you can make something really beautiful. However, sometimes people's egos get in the way of team. So what we're demonstrating here is a concentration gradient or what uh, a lot of people call stratification. Stratification is basically the art or the beauty of putting things into um, specific consolidated groups. And we can see the beautiful arrangement that we get right here from the Skittles and some water. So the next time you're in a group, realize that you have strengths and you may have weaknesses. Your job is to figure out how you can work together with that group so that you can make that group the best it can be. Thus, making sure that if there's a weakness of yours, you're able to compensate it by other people in the group that are better at that task. And if it's other people in the group that are weaker at something and you're stronger at, make sure you pitch in. So, to be a group, remember, there is no I in team, okay? There's just <laughs> really two people in team. There's no I, okay? It's all people and it's me, but it's not just I. So remember, when you're in a team, whether it's playing sports, whether it's on a science competition, whether it's in a, uh, a Jeopardy uh, expedition at your school, or whether it's just a spelling bee or anything, or maybe just a simple activity outside. Make sure that you harness the skills of working together as a team. I am John C. Morley, serial entrepreneur. It gives me great pride, great pleasure, and a great honor to be here with you every single time we do Science Fridays and many other videos. But listen, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe on YouTube. Click that bell notification icon so you will be notified when I post future content relating to Science Fridays with John. And if you really like this content, be sure, besides liking, sharing, and commenting, make sure that below every video, there's actually a link. You can choose to make a donation and help us keep this content free. You can give a dollar, you can give more, you can give it once, or you can give it many times. I am John C. Morley, serial entrepreneur. And remember, the next time you join a team or you start a team, it's not about you, it's about the collaborated efforts together, working to be better versions of each other, to give the desired output, which is what a team does. I am John C. Morley, serial entrepreneur, and you know I'll be back with another science video real soon. And if you have a school, reach out to us because we would love to visit you. Come help us break a record real soon this year where we're gonna break a Guinness World Book record. 
Message in the comments for more details. If you're in the Bergen, Passaic, Morris, or Essex County areas, we'd love you to be part of this two-day uh, volunteer expedition, which will be something amazing. It'll teach you something you may have never thought of was possible. And of course, we're gonna learn about people. I'll see you real soon, everyone. Take care.